Hello everybody and welcome back, this is Ski Dude, and it's finally time for episode 3 of Let's Build a Ski Resort. Um, I think I don't upload these videos as often because they are a little bit harder to make, just because um, 5 minutes of the sped up is 50 minutes of me building, um, so it is sometimes hard for me to find that chunk of time where I can sit down for 50 minutes straight and just record me building. Um, but I have found the time, finally, and today's goal is to finish the lodge, or at least get the foundation down. Now, I'm going to be doing the roof last because um, it's a little bit hard to film when you're building inside, so I'll be working on the floor. I'm going to set up some chimneys and uh, hopefully make this thing look somewhat presentable. <laughs> not quite sure cause it's how it's going to turn out because I'm already not really liking it, but we'll uh, just have to see. Just because I may have to change the wood color. It's not really matching with the rest of the village. But, uh... I don't know, I may, I may change this aspen to the darker wood. We'll have to find out. Um, anyway, I guess just a quick recap. We've got our side building here. We've got... I think this might be like the ski tune-up shop. It's got the, uh, the chimney on top burning away. And, uh, got our nice wood walkway here. So, yeah. Let's get to building. Alright, so the first order of business was to get the foundation of this down. Um, I I was just kind of playing it by ear and I think, yeah, I think it turned out okay. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But I wanted these kind of like, I don't know what to call them. They're not necessarily pillars, but these build-ups on the sides. Now, originally, I just started by having it on the... On, I just think on this right side and the back side and then I thought well I might as well make this as symmetrical as I can so let's put one on the other side and the reason I didn't want to put one on the other side to start off was because it's looking straight into the side of a mountain and then I figured well you know what? I could probably hollow out a cave or something in the side of the mountain for those windows to actually look into um, so I decided just to go ahead and do it actually mess up right here and realize, well, that's not very symmetrical. Ski dude, you need to learn how to count. So <laughs> I go check the other one and then realize I was two blocks off and redo it. Um, I did end up staying with the lighter wood and the aspen um, things on the front. And I do use a couple more aspen uh, trunks, whatever you want to call them, later on on the roof. And then right here I use torches to uh, count. Um, uh, I. Since I don't build that often, I, uh, I, I guess I don't recognize the patterns up that quickly. And I wanted to put a huge fireplace right in the middle because I always love that about going in the lodge and sitting down by the fireplace. And uh, so I decided to build that up and I was so scared I was going to light something on fire. So I put, um, I ended up putting iron gates all the way around. And um, put up the second floor I did want to and right there you saw there was a quick fire and I don't know where it came from because that fire below is like six blocks below it and it just popped up out of nowhere and it really scared me so while I was building on the roof I'm like this is just gonna light on fire I'm gonna finish the roof look down and the whole bottom floor will be gone but luckily it wasn't um, and I realized I probably repeat myself in, in these kind of videos because I record my voice for this part last because I record the intro I film the building then I record my outro and then I come back and do the voice for this and I realize I start repeating myself between all three different tracks that I'm recording so bear with me here and uh, working with stairs is actually kind of fun now that they are so versatile like now that the corner pieces work really well that you can put them upside down uh, that you can put them at cool angles they're actually really fun to use if you know what you're doing and I couldn't get them to work exactly how I wanted to right here. I wanted to make it so that it was just four corner pieces, but for some reason it wouldn't work, so I ended up just putting just the two rows, and that looked good enough for me that I do end up... I think I do... No, I don't change that in the end. But for the roof, I didn't want it to be completely flat, just because a ski, a ski lodge roof isn't completely flat because so much snow buildup would just collapse the roof, so I tried to put some sort of a slope into it, by just putting a couple of levels using the half blocks and uh, it, it works out okay it looks pretty good um, so right there I add more stone around it and afterwards I end up putting fire inside of that but I did that off camera when I was inspecting the uh, ski lodge afterwards so yeah I mean 
It turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I totally thought this was just going to turn out to be a big catastrophe of a flat building, but I do actually like how it ended up. All right, everybody, enough with that quick stuff. Let's get a close-up view of what we finished today. Now, I realize looking at it now, it looks like a castle. <laughs> uh, I guess it's supposed to be a ski lodge, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think it turned out pretty well for just kind of winging it. I just kind of... I didn't really have a plan for it. I just kind of did it by the seat of my pants and just kept building, and it turned out to my liking. It's going to be good enough for me. So let's go ahead and look on the inside. Um, so I wanted to have the outside border of stone all the way around. Then of course I might change this to wool so it's like carpeted. But at the same time for ski lodges they don't really use carpet that much because of all the ski boots, the snow boots, and all the moisture and snow that gets drug inside. It would die very quickly. And I ended up putting the iron gate all the way around just because um, it didn't look good just having a piece of iron gate on every corner. And I figured it might help my chances of a spark flying out and lighting this whole thing on fire <laughs> if you saw um, during the video. Somehow a, a piece of wood like right there lit on fire and I'm not sure how but it quickly went out. So I was very paranoid I was going to like finish this build and this thing would be burning down. But thankfully it has not yet. Um, anyway, this is the top level here. And the baby is not happy with her food as you can hear in the background. <laughs> Let's, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna put like some couches and some pictures up behind here. I haven't really decided because there isn't really that much real estate up here but I did want to have a second floor that leads on out to a balcony that surrounds the whole outside of the building. And I ended up uh, changing the roof so that it looked like the fire and smoke was still coming all the way up here. And uh, I took off some of the torches because, let me turn it nighttime, when I did add this top part, it did light it up quite a bit. And I don't want it to be completely lit just because this is going to be a peaceful world. There aren't going to be mobs, so it's not like I need to worry about a creeper or something spawning up here. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted to give it kind of a dulled feel maybe at night where it's not completely lit we still can find some shadows and things like that so I did just end up using the fire and then I did add some torches around the bottom of each corner of the building but I think overall it turned out pretty good and of course down here I've got my uh, ski racks this is where you can lean up your skis and your poles when you're coming into the lodge so you don't get uh, just so you don't just have to lay them down in the snow and then I did end up over here off camera real quick. I just finished this building to the ground. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to put a door down here and have another little shop underneath. I probably will just because it's a room already made and I might as well just use it. So let's kind of get a far back look of our ski lodge. Or I'm going to call it our ski lodge castle because <laughs> I guess that's what it looks like. And it did snow a little bit. Let's turn on the snow so we can get... Just the lovely feeling of nighttime and snow. Oh, it's so peaceful. I could just curl up in a nice warm blanket down here by the fire. Uh, and I still need to decorate the inside of all these buildings. I, I'll figure out something there. We'll see. And I need to figure out what is next on the list to build. Um, got it, one there. Let's turn off the snow. One there, I've got the ski lodge out here. I guess I could have maybe, I'll lead the path out here. N not quite sure what to put out here. Maybe we could set up an ice skating rink. That'd be cool. Level out some of these trees, have an ice skating rink. And uh, yeah. So this is uh, the ski resort episode three. Sorry it took me so long to do. You just gotta realize every minute that's sped up is 10 minutes in real time. So I usually try to do around 3 to 5 minutes of sped up footage, which is actually 30 to 50 minutes of straight building. Um, so that is sometimes hard to do. But yeah, there's the ski lodge. Let me know what you guys think I should build next. I'm thinking an ice skating rink, but maybe we could start on the top of the mountain build a little ski lodge up here. See how that turns out. I still haven't fixed our snowy trees. Uh, thanks to the people that did give me some suggestions as far as world edit goes and replacing things. I will be sure to take care of that before the next episode. Um, so let's, let's let's come down here. 
and uh, bid adieu. So thanks for tuning in, tuning in everybody. Uh, this is Ski Dude. This is Ski Resort Episode 3. Rate, subscribe, thumbs up, any questions in the comments below. And yeah, I will catch you guys later. Peace.